Hello everybody, it's Jen. Welcome back to the holiday card series. Today I'm using some older sets. I'm using Gerda Steiner up on the housetop and I'm using a die set from Avery L called Happy Home Die. I did purchase these just recently from the not too shabby shop. Jamie had a little bit of a clearing out sale before she gets ready to transfer over to her new website and I've always wanted this stamp set so I thought I'd go ahead and grab it. So cute. So I hope a few of you have this in your stash and feel inspired by this card today. So I'm going to be making a scene card with this stamp set. I'm also going to be sharing a couple other cards in another video where I'm using the images to make some clean and simple quick Christmas cards, so stay tuned for that. So I decided to change up my reds here. I've been doing a lot of the darker, what I would call more Christmas red in my coloring videos and I wanted to switch it up for you. So I thought I would do a brighter red combination. So today I'm using R29, R24, and R22. Now I have to admit, I had a little bit of trouble coloring this Santa Claus. He tripped me up a little with what I should color what. So as you can see here, I've done his suit and now I'm doing this little piece on his cuff, which I think technically should be white if it's the cuff by his hand, but it didn't look right so I ended up coloring it red. And I do like the way that color that came out. And the second thing that kind of confused me with this little stamp is that he's got his little finger up here with no glove on, but the other hand to me looks like he's got a glove on. So I kind of paused and wasn't quite sure if I should color it up like he had a glove on one hand, but then I kind of thought that would look funny. So I do end up going ahead and coloring both of his hands in a skin tone. So I've colored up a little bit of the blacks there you saw and now I'm going to do the reindeer. So I chose E18, E15, and E13. Not sure I absolutely love this color combination for a reindeer. I think I'd like it to be a little bit lighter so I'm going to play with my Copics and see if I can get a color that I really like. I did have one that I loved for my Spectrum Noir markers. So I may have to go back to that color combination. And there goes Lila making a little bit of a, an appearance. I do think she comes back as well. Yeah, here she comes. Right over the coloring. Doesn't even touch a marker cap, which I always find amazing. She makes me giggle. So here I'm just finishing up the tail. I wasn't sure if I was going to leave it lighter or color it a bit darker. And I ended up going up with... I ended up going a little bit darker. I'm going to do the skin tone for Santa and I'm using E11 and E00 for that. Once I get that done I am going to bring in the R20 for a little bit of blush here. And then I'm going to do the hooves on the reindeers and I chose E25. I felt like that wasn't quite the color I wanted so I brought in the E27. I do end up going over it again off screen with the E29, blending out with the E27 to make them even darker. For the antlers, I'm using E25 and E50, no, sorry, E23 and E53. I wanted them to be a light tan color so they stood out from the body of the reindeers. For the white pieces on Santa's clothing, I'm using C1 and I'll blend that out with my colorless blender. And then for his beard and mustache, I'm going to use the warm gray one and blend that out as well. Just to give a little bit of variation between the white elements of his clothing and his facial hair. I don't know if you can really tell that much on camera, but you can in person. So I thought I'd switch things up a little and bring a pop of color into this scene card. So I'm using B04, B02, and B00 to do a blue sled. Originally I thought I was going to do a little bit of blue in my nighttime sky for this scene. I don't end up doing that. 
but I still love the pop of color that the blue gives. So I'm also going to use this color combination to color up some of the gifts. And then I'm going to bring in some greens to do the rest of the elements on, on the gift packages. These images were really easy to color and I had planned to use my brother's scan and cut to cut them out and I just ended up fussy cutting them out and it was really simple. So if you don't have the dies, get your stamp set out and fussy cut away. I'm not the biggest fan of fussy cutting, so I kind of say that, you know, jokingly, go ahead and cut them out, but I'm getting more patient with it. So that's a good thing I think because sometimes I just don't feel like using my scan and cut. So I'm just going to finish up these gifts here and then I'm going to show you a close-up and we'll move on to creating the card. So I started out, I'm using a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock. I'm using my Versamark ink here and I'm stamping up the sentiment Merry Christmas from our house to yours. I did stamp that a couple times just to make sure that I got a good impression and then I'm going to heat emboss that with white detailed embossing powder. So it's actually going to be kind of hard to see on screen but I just wanted to keep the process in. So I'm just making sure that it's fully covered. I'm going to do the sweater swipe here to get rid of the stuff that fell onto my mat and then I'm going to heat emboss this. So I'm going to add some black soot to the sky. So I just threw in there a piece of laminated cardstock, which I like to use when I'm doing distress inking. I'm not going to keep all of this in. I do a number of layers of the black soot. There's a number of things I would have done differently if I were to do this card again. So I think I probably just would have used black cardstock for the sky instead of the black soot or a piece of patterned paper. So you can kind of save yourself some trouble and maybe just do one of those choices. So I'm using my microfiber cloth here to wipe off the embossing. The Distress inks will resist from anything that you heat emboss. Of course, the ink was still a bit wet, so I'm getting my fingers in it all over the place. I'm going to add this panel to my card base. This is a standard A2 size card at four and a quarter by five and a half fixing up my smudges and here's where I'm going to use this uh, rooftop die from Avery Owl. This is called the Happy Home Die. Just showing you, I cut it out of black cardstock and I also cut it out of brown. I ended up going with the brown just because I thought it would tie in Rudolph who's going to be featured on this card. So as I'm gluing this I'm being careful not to get glue on the bottom scallops of this die piece that I've cut out here because I am going to just kind of fluff up those what would be shingles with my finger. So I'm going to show you that here in a second. Of course I got glue on the card so I'm going to grab out my adhesive eraser and clean that up as best I can. My Santa is going to go over top of it so I'm not too worried about it. And of course I'm getting ink smudges everywhere. So here I'm just using my fingers. I did have to kind of put my hands inside the card to peel this up. Now this was my first time using this die. It's a new to me die. And so if I were to do this again, I would add some sort of cardstock underneath because you can see under the shingles once I pull them up a little bit. So just a tip if you have this die. So I'm going to do this for all of the layers of the shingles and it just adds a little something different to the card which I really liked. So I did go ahead and color up the chimney off screen. I'm going to add that underneath the rooftop and then I'm going to add the sleigh with Santa's sack here in it and I'm going to have that on the top of the roof. So I'm just laying these down straight to the card base and for my little Santa and reindeer I am going to pop them up on some 3M foam tape. 
just to give them a little bit of dimension. I absolutely adore this little Santa with his facial expression. It's so cute. Same with the reindeer with his cute little smile. So I've got him going towards the chimney. And then I'm going to add a few of the presents by the chimney just to bring some of that blue and more of the green into the card. So I did cut off that one that I put in the chimney a little bit. And then I'm going to add this third one here. And now I'll move on to the final embellishments for the card. So I did bring in my white gel pen. I'm going to add some highlights. And then I'm also going to add some stars to the back panel with my gel pen. And I didn't want to go for a fully covered uh, night sky, so I'm just going to add a few around the different elements that I've placed on the card. So just adding some detail to some of the presents with some polka dots. Here's where I'm going to do the background, it just adds a little bit of something extra on that kind of plain background. I do, once I finish the card and the ink has dried a bit, I do go back and uh, take my microfiber cloth on the sentiment again to get it nice and white. Just going over some of them a couple times to try to get them really white. I'm using my black gel pen on the eyes. And then I'm using some silver stickles for his belt buckle and the little silver bells on Rudolph's collar here. Then I decided to add a little bit of sparkle to the background with the silver stickles. It gives it a nice little shimmer. And that's the card for today. So I hope you're enjoying the holiday card series. Uh, stay tuned for more card creations. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.